Cockroaches are quite amazing creatures. Many may not share this opinion, but if you look at the feats that cockroaches are capable of, you just might agree. For example, a cockroach can hold its breath for almost 40 minutes. It can survive a few days without water, a month without food, and even a few weeks without its head. However, contrary to popular belief, cockroaches cannot survive a nuclear explosion any more than they can survive an onslaught from their ultimate nemesis, bug spray. Humans have been using insecticides derived from natural sources since ancient times. Most came from natural plant toxins or chemicals, such as sulfur or sodium chlorate. Today, we have a wide arsenal of insecticides to eliminate our bug problems. The first generation of synthetic pesticide was not actually created as a pesticide. DDT was first synthesized in 1825 by the chemist Othmar Ziedler but it was not until 1933 that its pesticidal properties were discovered. Bug sprays, or insecticides, are chemical compounds that inhibit certain physiological functions. Many types of insecticides differ in their synthesis, how they affect the pest, and whether they indiscriminately affect all insects or are specific to a particular type or family. Insecticides can be lethal in various ways. Some insecticides act as neurotoxins, impairing the nervous system. Others target respiration and prevent the insect from utilizing oxygen, while others target the insect's ability to grow or reproduce. Popular roach-killing bug sprays fall under two broad types, pyrethroids and carbamates. Pyrethroids are neurotoxins for insects, fast-acting compounds found in most household insecticides and insect repellents. Pyrethroids are synthetic compounds but resemble a natural pesticide made from daisy flowers called pyrethrin. Pyrethroids are neurotoxic and impair the functions of the neurons in a cockroach, thereby paralyzing it. The chemicals target proteins that transport sodium and potassium across the neuron membrane. Neurons can send impulses through the controlled entry and exit of these ions through the appropriate protein channels. Pyrethroids interfere with these channels, impairing the functioning of the neuron. Another reason why pyrethroids are popular is that a very low dose of pyrethroids can kill cockroaches, though the same concentration is relatively harmless to humans. The other common chemical pesticide component of bug spray is a carbamate. This class of pesticides is derived from carbonic acid. These compounds target a specific enzyme called cholinesterase, which plays a role in breaking down a chemical messenger of the nervous system called acetylcholine. Neurons release acetylcholine to communicate with other neurons and muscles, giving the latter a signal to contract. Carbamates prevent cholinesterases from breaking down acetylcholine, which causes the molecule to constantly stimulate other neurons, but more importantly, it causes muscles to contract. Other disturbances in the nerve impulses cause havoc throughout the insect's body, which eventually leads to the insect's death. Unfortunately, many pesticides remain in the soil and the bodies of animals that could inhale or consume them. If other animals feed on insects that have ingested the pesticide, or drink water from places where insecticides are present, there can be unintended effects. This is due to the bioaccumulation of pesticides. If we're going to live so intimately with these chemicals, eating them, drinking them, and taking them into the very marrow of our bones, then we should know something about their nature and their power.